Hey there, church family and internet friends. I'm Lauren Adkins, the Director of Youth Ministry at Shady Grove United Methodist Church in Short Pump. And I don't know about you, but today was the first day of virtual learning as a second grader for my daughter, Leah, at Glen Allen Elementary School. And maybe you have um, a virtual learner learning at a different school or a different grade. Or maybe you have kids that are going back to school in person, or maybe there's some kind of hybrid in your school district, or maybe you don't have a virtual learner at your house at all, or an in-person learner. Maybe you're just feeling for all of the parents and the teachers and the kids that are going back to school in this time and just wondering what's even happening, what's going on. Um, and I told my husband, Dave, I was like, I don't even know what to talk about in a daily. I'm so, my brain is just so fried. And he said, well, what if you just remind people, like, don't worry about it, that God's with you. And so I thought, oh, right, I could tell people, don't worry about it, God's with you. So I'm going to actually read to you from Philippians chapter 4. This is verse 6 through 7. It says, don't be anxious about anything. Rather, bring up all of your requests to God in your prayers and petitions along with giving thanks. Then the peace of God that exceeds all understanding will keep your heart and mind safe in Jesus Christ. That's good news. That's good news. No matter what we're trying to decide right now, in-person schooling, virtual schooling, no schooling, who to vote for, do I wear a mask when I'm going for a walk, how much hand sanitizer do I need to stock up on, all, all of this stuff. Don't worry. Don't put your faith in these human things. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. That's a good message to hear. And it keeps going in Philippians. It says, let me find it. I know the experience of being in need and having more than enough. I have learned the secret to being content in any and every circumstance, whether full or hungry or whether having plenty or being poor. I can endure all these things through the power of the one who gives me strength. Still, you have done well to share my distress. And so, you know, Paul, the Apostle Paul is writing this and he's saying, you have been with me in the good times and the bad times. And your community, your fellowship with me has reminded me that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. All the things that I'm trying to do to spread the good news, to stay strong, I can do all of those things. And so that's good news for us too, isn't it? Um, no matter what, <laughs> what choice we're facing right now, we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. And that's my prayer for you, that you can share your anxieties and your fears and your worries and your celebrations and your joys with Jesus during this time. And when they become too much for you, that you can remember you can do all things when you do them with God. Well, that's all for me. Um, I miss you. I care for you. And I'm praying for you. Bye.